NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frischette. 545 now, you're taking a live look from our camera in Plattsburgh on your Monday morning. Temperature not too bad, 30 degrees. However, Ben, we have our eyes on the winter storm we're going to get tomorrow. Mm, It'll yeah. be a big storm for some parts of our region. Not necessarily here in Plattsburgh, here in Burlington, but farther to the south. Southern Vermont could be looking at a foot of snow when this thing wraps up. And it's not the light and fluffy kind. This would be a heavier, wetter snow that comes through. So if you see yourself in that 12 to 18 area, especially off to the south, I would plan for some power outages and wind associated with this storm. Now, it won't be as big of an impact farther to the north. Still enough to plow and shovel in northern New York. Again, this starts tonight, falls through the day Tuesday into Wednesday. So it is a long duration storm, but four to eight inches south of Malone, most in Essex County, New York, south of Lake Placid, a foot of snow possible, especially near the high peaks. St. Lawrence River Valley, a dusting to a couple inches. We've got some shadowing and downsloping playing a role in the forecast here, and that's also the case in the Champlain Valley. Just a couple inches of snow and all is said and done in the uh, Burlington area. About four to eight inches in the Northeast Kingdom, spine of the Green Mountains. We get a little bit more snow going here. And again, southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, this will be the jackpot area. Looks like a widespread foot of snow for Killington, Ludlow, Londonderry, perhaps a foot and a half for some uh, mountain locations far to the south. A little bit less in the valleys, but this will be a fairly high impact storm for our southern areas. Again, power outages are likely because a whipping wind will come with that snow too. Temperatures this morning though are in the 20s and 30s. It'll be nice and quiet today if you have to get anything done ahead of the storm tomorrow. We'll be right near 40 in the afternoon. Light breeze out of the southeast. Plenty of clouds, but a few passing showers are possible. So here's Storm Tracker. This is the setup we're looking at. Two distinct areas of low pressure. One that is decaying over the Great Lakes and another one that's just forming off the Carolina coast. Now, as this low moves into southern New England, it's going to take the energy from the one that's decaying, and that's what ends up forming the bigger storm, the nor'easter, in the next 24 hours. We'll be on the northern fringes of it. That's why it's not a blockbuster storm for us. We've got plenty of snow showers on the map this morning, and those could certainly make it to the ground locally, but nothing super heavy showing up right now on Storm Tracker. That'll be the case through most of the day. There could be some light to moderate snow showers in northern New York, but you can clearly see the main event begins tonight. This is 12:30, 1 o'clock in the morning. Snow just getting to the Champlain Valley, but already pouring out of the sky south of uh, Rutland and Lebanon. That'll be the case through Tuesday morning. A real nasty morning commute off to the south, but periods of light to moderate snow all the way to the international border. This will continue through most of the day Tuesday. Notice that there will be some breaks in the action, so it's not a constant snowfall that's coming down. But the snow will keep coming in through Tuesday, and this is Wednesday with some persistent snow showers over the Adirondacks. And look at the wind forecast getting to about 30, perhaps 40 miles per hour by tomorrow evening. So the wet snow that adds up on the power lines could again cause those power outages, and I think those issues will last into Wednesday as well. So use the quiet weather today to get anything done. And after we get this storm out of our hair, we're looking much drier towards the end of the week. Back to you.